Hi, this is Mark Forshat from Georgetown County School District, and uh, welcome to video one of um, several videos that we have for teachers and for students for our e-learning days here in Georgetown County School District. Um, in video one, what I'm going to do is this is mainly for teachers. I'm going to show you the basics of how to go to Google Classroom um, and how to create an assignment that students would be able to access whether or not they had access to Wi-Fi. Um, so I'm going to just do kind of a basic lesson and, um, and assume that you know um, a good deal about Google Classroom, but I'm going to show you the basics and hopefully this will help get you started. So you can see here I'm already inside um, my classroom as a teacher. And in this e-learning class, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Classwork and I'm going to choose Create because I want to create in one assignment um, for that e-learning day. So in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the title of my assignment, just like I would for anything else. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in instructions as well. Um, so for this, what I want students to be able to do is I want them to be able to watch a video um, and access that offline. I also want them to read an article that corresponds with the video, and then I want them to create a presentation using Google Slides, um, you know, naming a connection that they had with the video and the article. So in order to do that, there were a couple things I had to do first. One, for the video, I needed to go ahead, um, I found the video on YouTube, and then I went ahead and downloaded that video um, and, and added it to my Google Drive as the teacher. The second thing I did is I found the article, and again, I downloaded that PDF and added that as the teacher to my Google Drive. So both of those are stored on my Google Drive. The third thing I did was I created a template um, for the response for this Google Slides project um, for the students to be able to go ahead and create their own responses. But I wanted them all to basically have the template set up um, so that way they could refer back to it um, and, and be able to use that as well. So in order to assign these so students can access them with, with or without Wi-Fi, there's um, a couple things that need to be in place. So first, again, I'm going to go to my Google Drive. I'm going to go to my drive, and I'm just going to add the video that I downloaded first. So I'm going to click on that video, and I'm going to add that here. I am going to leave this file type as students can view the file because I'm going to give students special instructions on how they can download that video and add it to their drive later. I don't need to make a copy of this for every single student. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back down here and I want to add the article. So again, I'm going to go to my drive and I'm going to search and then I'm going to type in the title of the article or the PDF. And once I find it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that here. Again, Students can view this file. I'm not going to give each student a copy of this file. I don't need to. I'm only going to give them rights to view these two resources. Um, because again, they're not doing anything with these other than reading them um, or watching them. However, the third file that I'm going to attach is the Google slide presentation template. So I'm going to click on this and now I'm going to type in And for this file, once I've added it, I want to go ahead and this, I want to change the permissions. I want to make a copy for each student. Um, that way, each student will have their own copy of this. And I can show you as well from the student end in video two what they're going to do for these types of files, as well as these types of files in order to make them accessible offline. So again, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in into classwork hit create, I'm going to choose assignment, I'm going to give it a title, I'm going to give provide directions um, inside of here, and I could establish a due date, um, you know, and I could also add a topic to this if I wanted to add a topic, and then finally um, I can come down here after attaching my files, the ones that they're going to view, I'm going to leave as can view, and then the file that I need them each to have their own copy of I'm going to go ahead and just make a copy for each student. I just did that by clicking on this drop down arrow and clicking on that. Finally, I'm going to hit assign. 
so again, this was video one um, in the series, and it's basically just showing teachers how you can go ahead and you can create an assignment for students that they'll be able to access offline or online um, in their Google Classroom. So good luck.